Hi, I'm Jenna Lane, your Bucks insider for SportsTalkFlorida.com. Last month at the NFL Scouting Combine, head coach Lovey Smith said he was disappointed with the performance of the Bucks offensive line, given the amount of money that was invested in that unit. Well, they've already begun making changes at one buck place, starting with right guard Davin Joseph, who was released Saturday, freeing up $6 million in cap space. But I'm convinced that's not the only change that's going to come. Whether they're releasing players or asking them to restructure, I think we're going to see quite an overhaul on the offensive line, especially when you consider that $4.5 million are invested in Jeremy Zuta. You've also got $8 million invested in Donald Penn. And then with Carl Nix, over $9 million. And there's no telling if he's even going to be back playing. Although I would tread lightly on that one, given the fact that Nix had a MRSA situation, but he also had an injury with his foot prior to that. Personally, I don't think he's going to be the same player again. So I think the Bucks need to look long and hard, both in free agency and in the NFL draft, at replacing both guard positions. Which brings us to free agency, being that the draft is still a little ways away. Free agency starts on Tuesday at 4 o'clock. That's when teams can officially put pen to paper with unrestricted free agents from other teams. Now, as far as guys that I'm interested in, one name that jumps out right away is Roger Saffold. He can play both guard and he can play tackle, right and left tackle. So he gives the Bucks a lot of options when it comes to that, and he's probably not going to command a hefty paycheck. The only thing I'd be interested with him or a little concerned with would be injuries, but other than that, I think he checks off clean. I got to know him really well during his time at IMG when he was getting ready for the draft. I think he's a top-notch player and would be a welcome addition to the locker room. I also think that you have to look at Darren College, being that he, of course, has a relationship with Jason Light from back in the days at Arizona. I think he's a guy not going to command a big contract. He was released before being owed $4.8 million this year, so not a ton of money, but he's also durable, started all, all 16 games for his three seasons in Arizona. And another name I want to throw out there, too, is Fernando Velasco. I'm very familiar with him from his time in Tennessee and also in Pittsburgh. I think he is a good option there, and he does have a little bit of versatility as well. Can play both guard and center. Keep in mind, though, we're not going to see any new signings until at least Tuesday at 4 p.m. Again, that is when the new league year starts, and that's when free agency officially begins. So stay tuned at sportstalkflorida.com for all your free agent signings with the Buccaneers. With Sports Talk Florida, I'm Jenna Lane.